What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tell, and I'm back again with another video. So today, if you read the title, you already know that we are going to be making some spicy Rotel dip. And instead of ground beef, I'm going to use ground turkey, no antibiotic, and yeah. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Please make sure you share it with your family, friends, and your haters. So let's get straight into the video. All right, so what we're gonna use is some Velveeta cheese, and you can use whatever type of cheese you want. And we're gonna use, of course, like I said, the ground turkey. So this is unseasoned. I do have it on a burner, it's on low. Some of the seasonings that we're going to be using are seasons that would make taco seasoning. So we're gonna use a couple of those in our Rotel dip. And yes, we do have some fresh cilantro with it and then fresh peppers as you can see right there so and also the main ingredient the rotel okay so as you can see I have the cheese on and it's just a little bit of cheese not much because I wanted to get it started because I know it takes a minute for it to kind of you know melt down and all of that so once you get it nice and bubbly a little bit not too bubbly because you don't want it to burn you just want it to melt down a little bit and I'm gonna pour this onto here. So actually, let's turn it off and move it to this burner. And what I did was for that, I just used two ounces, and you can go ahead and add more once it starts bubbling and all of that. I just don't like to um, add it all at once because it take way too long for me. And I'm just gonna cut this. I'm just gonna add just about a little under two ounces to it i don't know if i mentioned before but please make sure y'all are sanitizing and being safe taking precautions but let's check on our ground turkey and like i said i did start it already but it is unseasoned so what you want to do first before you add your cheese and you're just gonna let that melt over there to the side without the burner on because you don't want it to cook too fast to the point that it burns okay so the first thing we're going to use is some ground cumin seed this is my first time actually using some ground cumin seed so we're going to see how that tastes okay next just a little bit of salt i'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder and y'all already know if there was a way to smell it i would let y'all smell it because it's already smelling good all right some onion powder and then a little bit of smoked paprika uh, pepper okay so in between you do want to go ahead and put it back on the burner and then kind of make sure that it's not getting hard and i'm just gonna leave it on here but i'm gonna leave it on low and i'm just gonna let that sit like that just for a sec because i'm gonna add my oregano now to my ground turkey and we have a visitor y'all like to see Y'all want to say? All right. You want to tell them hi? Say hi. Say hi. Okay. Okay. So that was my two-year-old nephew. He wanted to get on camera just for a sec. So now we're going to go ahead and mix that in. And we're not finished adding our seasoning. So I'm going to add just a little bit of cilantro to my meat. A couple of chili peppers just so it can take the seasoning. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. And no, it's not gonna be enough cheese yet, I'm pretty sure. But that's why we're gonna keep adding and adding. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour it. And it looks just like this. It's not, not even fully how it should be, but just take it and put it over it. And it's gonna melt some more, being that it's gonna be in here. And you all can could have added to it like the block to the meat, but this is how I like to do mine because I don't like my cheese burning. Okay, so go ahead and add your little more cheese. And soon we're gonna go ahead and add our can of Rotel. I was gonna use some um, serrano peppers, but I said never mind. All right, so this cheese is just about melted, and since I'm doing two different ones, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese to the one with uh, with the meat. I'm gonna use a whole box of Velveeta cheese. Now that I've added some more cheese to this, I'm just gonna let that melt 
throughout. But in the meantime, I'm gonna season it a little bit more because it's sitting for a while, so the seasons can just kind of soak everything up. But you wanna add some more, and every time you add some more, you kinda of wanna add a little bit more seasoning just so the flavor can be there, okay? And just, I have mine on literally two, but I'm gonna turn it up to about three, three, four, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more garlic, a little more cilantro, and to this one, since this one is just cheese, it's gonna be like just a queso, okay? Spicy queso. I'm just gonna add some chili peppers and some cilantro. And I just take my seeds out, by the way, so it looks nice and green and cute, okay? So, what I did was I just let this sit for about three minutes. And so now we're gonna go ahead and mix it, our cheese, but first I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my cilantro. So now I'm just gonna add the rest of the block of cheese. Now that we've added the other, the rest of the cheese, we're just gonna see how that does and then we're gonna um, add our rotel, okay? So I'm gonna let that sit for a good another three to four minutes since I added some more seasoning and then we'll be right back. We're almost finished. Okay, so I let my meat and the cheese sit for about five minutes and then now I'm just going to, and I'm gonna add a little more seasoning once I add the Rotel. So let's go ahead and add our Rotel in. We're gonna use the whole can. As you can see, that's how it's gonna look. That's how it's gonna look. And that is just one can of it. So we're gonna put that there. So I want y'all to go ahead and comment below and say red for tomato. So go ahead and just mix that in, mix it in really well. And I thought I was going to use both cans, but I think I might just be okay with another one, but half of it and use the other half for my just cheese one. All right, so put a little bit of that in here. It's like I did use both of them. So now we're just going to go ahead and mix that in. And it is going to be kind of liquidy, but that's okay. Okay, so now that we've put that in there, we're just going to kind of let that simmer together. But we're going to also go ahead and add a little bit more of each of our seasoning. And I did add some cayenne pepper just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add some more seasons, and we're almost finished. Okay, so what I did was I seasoned it some more but I let it sit for a good 10 minutes on like two, low to two, anywhere between that, y'all can let it kind of simmer, just so the flavor can come together, but it's gonna be better the next day because anytime you have meat and seasoning and stuff like that and it sit like that, and you just put it in the refrigerator or freezer, the refrigerator if you're gonna eat it the next day. Since we're eating it right away, I let that sit and really, you know, soak in the juice instead of serving right away. So this is the final result gonna show y'all and yes I know some of the chips don't have it but I did layer it and um, I topped it off with some chili peppers and some fresh cilantro so that completes our video I just want to say let's continue to reach our goal of 4,000 okay I know those probably more zeros whatever but let's continue to reach that goal together and don't forget to share it with your family friends and your haters so y'all stay safe out there and it's your girl tail. Thanks again.